Over on Trump TV, the hosts have been relentlessly pushing the idea that viewers should vote Republican or face the, quote, liberal mob. Last night, as the network was pressing that narrative, my next guest appeared to get quite a response when he made this point. In the last 10 days, uh, Donald Trump used the name George Soros for the first time in his presidency, and the guy had a pipe bomb in his mailbox last night. And we're talking about whether or, not, whether or not Sarah Sanders gets her corner pen. Whoever put a pipe bomb in George Soros' why do you think, mailbox? Why do you think they did? You think it's just Trump coincidence? Criticized George Soros because the richest Donald in the Trump, world. Donald Trump. <laughs> Joining me now, the man you saw in the clip, well, one of them, <laughs> the one who wasn't laughing, former <laughs> Hillary Clinton advisor Philippe Brains. Um, the laughter there seems less funny today. Much less funny. Um, you know, if you and I had been talking on uh, Monday morning, we could be having this exact same conversation. Is Donald Trump responsible for unleashing the hate and the hateful, vicious, violent environment that we're living in? And I would have said then, yes. The only difference between now and Monday morning is that we've seen that someone has acted on it. And I know I'm supposed to say that we don't know who it is. We don't know why they did it. But look. Well, we don't. We don't. We don't. And, you know, you have people like Nick Rasmussen who are more thoughtful and, uh, you know, hold back than I do. But this isn't uh, John Hinckley who had some crazy fetish with Jodie Foster or the Unabomber who had some very complicated 15 year long hatred of industrialized America. This is someone who has weaponized Trump's Twitter feed and made it into a hit list. And even if you want to give him the benefit of the doubt, we just saw him at this rally, even if he tones it down tonight, which I doubt he will. He'll resume tomorrow. But what we've seen to date is someone who whips up the crowd. He is addicted to their response, and they are, they are addicted to his um, vitriol. And while he might think that he's just putting on good TV, all you need is one person who doesn't realize that and one person who thinks it's okay to do this. Someone tried to murder Barack and Michelle Obama, Bill and Hillary Clinton, two sitting members of Congress, two former cabinet officials, and a news network. This is not a coincidence. And now you're reporting Joe Biden. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, I, I should note that the, the, before the president appeared at the rally tonight, they were already chanting lock her up, um, which has become obviously a kind of incantation at these events. Um, but it seems important to me to sort of maintain the distinction between speech and violence, right? So people say things in, in the context of American democratic exchange and debate. They can say that their, you know, their, their political opponents represent a dire threat to the country. You could say about Exxon and fossil fuel companies that they're literally bankrupting the future of the planet because of climate change, right? Mm -hmm. That's distinct from whether an individual takes it upon themselves to act in a violent fashion. And a Attributing cause is, is I, I just want to be careful about making that attribution. Absolutely. And look, I hope I'm wrong. I hope a few days or a week from now, this turns out to be some absolute wacko. I don't know. But there is a difference between, um, let's look at what happened or what the right loves to invoke, which is the Steve uh, Scalise shooting. Yes. You never heard a single solitary Democrat saying, well, Scalise voted this way. He deserves it. You just never heard one. Today, and you were showing the clip, you have Rush Limbaugh, you have uh, Laura Loomer, Candace Owens, Ann Coulter. These people are literally saying that this is a hoax. This is a different level of vitriol and nonsense than we've seen. Well, and the problem with Trump is that even if you want to give him the benefit of the doubt, he has a sec there's a second aspect to this. He has a unique opportunity and a unique responsibility to right. do something about this. My voice is not equal to Donald Trump. Your voice is not equal to Donald Trump. He can say this has to stop. These are not conspiracy theories. The, that I have disagreements with John Brennan, but this cannot happen. He won't say that. The best we can hope for is that he shuts his mouth tonight and doesn't call Maxine Waters low IQ or all his various other attacks. Well, and I should note that some of the people you mentioned were not saying that the people who received the bombs deserved it, but rather it was a plant and a hoax and a false flag. And one of the things that's striking is the president is never more than one stone's throw away from the most insane, fevered, and vile conspiracy theories because of what he consumes. It seems only a matter of time until that someone gets that before him. 
Well, I think we need to be honest here. His, uh, you know, I've been be able to vote since every president, uh, George H.W. Bush. I don't know if you're that much older, much younger than I am. I didn't vote for either Bush. I didn't support the Iraq War. But I never for a moment doubted that every president before now woke up and wanted to do the right thing for the entire country. Half the country might have disagreed with them, but they wanted to. And what you have now is you have a man who wakes up and he only cares about 30 percent of America. And that 30 percent of America doesn't want to see him try to do right yeah. by the other 70 percent. And they have rationalized this entire ends has justifies the means, and there is no option. They want this path of hatred, and that's the path we're stuck on. And to compare someone sending pipe bombs to someone taking Sarah's absolutely insane. All right, Philip Reigns, thanks for being with me. Thank you, Chris. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.